And this is TVC News at One, reaching you live from our headquarters here in Lagos, Nigeria, where we are monitoring events across the globe. Now, let's begin in Plateau, where the ruling All Progressives Congress has flagged off its presidential campaign in Jos, the state capital, as it continues its quest to convince the electorate to keep faith with the party beyond 2023. The presidential candidate, Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu, and his wife, Senator Remy Tinubu, as seated, as well as his running mate, Senator Kashim Shatima, and his wife, Nana. Moments ago, the Nigeria's president, Muhammad Buhari, arrived at the venue in company of other APC stakeholders. Security has been beefed up in and around Jos, with a long convoy of military vehicles seen patrolling the streets to secure the environment against any threat. The state governor, Simon Lalong, who doubles as the director general of the APC Presidential Campaign Council, said the city of Jos is agog to host the flag off. A senior political correspondent, Ayodele Uzubakun, joins me now for more on this. Ayo, um, this has been much talked about. People have been waiting for this to happen um, as much as, you know, for every other political party as well. But there seems to be some sort of um, intentionality, if I, if I will use that word, in, in how political parties pick whether we flag off their campaigns. Why do you think the APC chose Joss? If you see the description of 2023, you remember Hope 1993, that in Joss Township Stadium, the flag bearer for the Social Democratic Party, the MK Abiola, 30 years ago exactly, was actually, you know, decided he had a primary that he ran with uh, former Vice President Atiko Baka, Babaga Nakingibe at this particular stadium. The significance of this stadium is that 30 years ago, it was decided that Abiola, MK Abiola was going to be fielded as the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress. Now for APC, the significance of this state is that the Director General of the uh, uh, Tinubu Shetima campaign organization that um, Governor Lalong is actually the governor of the states. And this state has not been, if you, in terms of when you look at the statistics from 1999, this is a state that was won by the People's Democratic Party in 1999 to 2003. And that's... Um, Joshua Darie, when he became the governor, and then after Joshua Darie, it was Jonah Jang of the People's Democratic Party. Mm. Now, it took 2015 for somebody like uh, the incumbent governor, that's Simon Lanong, to come and break that um, circle that opposition was able to win the presidency in Plateau Joss. It has predominantly always been a People's Democratic Party state. Don't forget, in 2019, in 2019, we had um, two, over 2 million votes you know, to play for. And in 2019, Vice President Atiku Abaka actually won in Plateau States. Vice mm -hmm. President Atiku Abaka won with 545,000 votes. And um, the, well, the President, Mamoru Buhari, had 400 and something thousand votes. So for this flag off now, there is, before this flag off, there's been this talk about a Muslim, Muslim ticket. Now, predominantly, people from Plateau State just, no Muslim had ever been the governor from 1999 mm. till this time, is a predominantly domin Christian dominated um, state. So, the All Progressive Congress, they're going to work hard to make sure that they and, get and, and, Plateau and State in the kitty. It does seem like this is an appeal. Um, yes. To, yes, to the people yes, of, of yes. State to pacify say, them. We, yeah, to we are starting them. from you guys, and we have um, 2.5 million votes to play for. Mm. Yeah. All right. Talk to Ross because um, you you saw there in the visuals that, that we had earlier that the president uh, Muhammad Buhari is in that um, rally against what everyone had thought earlier that he might not make most of these mm. most of these rallies. People have said, look, um, there is a divided house. Maybe secretly there that, that you know the there is this undertone of the lack of support from the president. His 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 appearance, what does that tell you? The about? last interview the President Momodu Bari granted in London, you know, just to put credence to the fact that Momodu Bari is all the way supporting the candidature of Bola Metinumbu. He is saying, he was quoted as saying that even the All Progressive Congress is lucky to have a politician as in the caliber of Bola Ahmed mm -hmm. that eight, eight years the governor of Lagos State and somebody that you can always look up to. Now, this is a Muhammad Buhari that has spent seven years. Some people, some part of his country, the country, his popularity is believed to have waned. 
but you still have that magical touch, that organic crowd when it comes to northern part of Nigeria at any time. He doesn't need money to wield his, uh, his um, what do you call it, his structure. He's, he's a man that from 2003 has always been recording, you know, 12,000, 12 million guaranteed votes up north. 2003, 2007, check the 2011. So it's a show of force for the president, Muhammadu Buhari, to appear in anywhere up north to say, look, this is the candidate I've endorsed. Don't forget Bolati Nuhu is from the south. He will need a lot of push because he's running against Atiku Abubakar. Mm, who is from, who is from, from the, the north. north. So, and there is, and there is also another also candidate from, yeah, the, from north. the north. Absolutely. It looks like the north it is, is, a, is a lot of yes, people. Yes, yes. So, Bola Tinubu, but... we need that push from mm. Muhammadu Wari. We need that support. We need that backing from Muhammadu Wari to say, look, so that the people of already in the north, that the popularity of Muhammadu Wari, you know, is like something that is like a wildfire. So, for him to just stand and just raise your hand, it will resonate across the mm. length and breadth of the northern part of the country. Let's also talk about something else that will resonate. Um, the, he, he, during the primaries, there were other aspirants as well. Uh, we've not seen how active, how most of them have not been that active in, in, the, in the scheme of things so far. Yes, we've seen, I think the last person who spoke was the president of the Senate who also said, look, uh, he's supporting Ashiwaju. But what role would they play and, and, and what, what impact would they have? On the campaign going forward, and how for united do you think that they are going? They are going into this campaign as well. Don't forget that the runner-up in that um, primaries was um, Roti Michibike Amichi, mm. the former minister of transport. Have spotted him earlier today in that gathering, mm. and um, Bolatinumu gave him a warm visit. Chibika Michi, you know, he had three hundred and something votes um, after Bolatinumu had over one. Thousand votes. Mm. So the second runner up is the uh, vice president, mm. and the vice president. If you check the list of, um, if you check the list of the presidential and uh, 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 advisory council that um, set a campaign council, uh, the vice president has been missing there, and um, the vice president has not been part of this. So he's a major contender, but he has not been part of the campaign. And the all progressive Congress, has, they are saying that the president cannot lead the campaign. The vice president cannot also be part of the campaign that they don't want government to collapse. That mm. is their explanation. But what we've seen, this is also Yaya Bilo. Yaya Bilo also ran. The Senate president ran, don't forget. Mm. And most of those aspirants, don't forget that same day, they actually collapsed their structure and most of them stepped down for Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Bola and I know Tinubu that Jack also. Rich is also very involved in charge yes, of fundraising, Jack, I think, think Yes, Jack Rich is in, in charge of finance. Mm -hmm. He's in charge of fundraising for this um, particular campaign. I think Basically, it's not as fractured and divided as the People's Democratic Party. The All Progressive Congress bringing the president here, it will go a long way to send that signal. And if you see their campaign committee, the campaign structure, you see most state governors are actively involved, 109 senators actively involved, and 360 House of Rep members that are playing different roles across the country. I mean, there's a lot to watch out for. Um, this is the first stop of the APC. Yes, Many yes. more states to go. It's as going to take as them people to are watching states. out, especially and in just in a minute, Ewa, people are watching, especially for for the southeast. How well do you think that the APC would do in the southeast? The All Progressive Congress is going to record the lowest vote in the southeast, but constitutionally, it needs 24 states to third of 36 states. You need to have 25 percent. Hmm. That is what is required. I tell you that. Um, but Bola Tinobu in Imo states, it will perform well. It might have more than that 25%. Why? The incumbent governor is Hope Uzojima. Mm. Hope Uzojima is of the APC stock. I will tell you that he can also pick something in Delta states. Delta states, oh, um, Senator Ovi Omagege is vying to become the governor of that state. And he has uh, one third of that state in his pockets. And uh, he won from the Labour Party. And from the Labour Party, he moved to the All Progressive Congress. And um, they have um, a very, very formidable um, gathering in Delta states. Now, talk about the state like Abia states. They also have Minister Oga there. And um, talk about um, Anambra states. But they are going to record this party. Th that is the weakest link. You know, the Southeast will form the weakest link mm -hmm. of the All Progressive um, Congress because the All Progressive Congress, don't forget, a leading candidate too is also from the Southeast and is expected to garner massive votes from the Southeast. That's Peter Obi. Mm -hmm. So Peter Obi is expected to sweep the whole Southeast. Maybe, maybe Bola Tinobu is able to have 25% in all the Southeastern states. It's yet to be seen. It depends on what they deploy. 
All right, thank you so much, um, AY. We're watching now. We're, we're following that. We have correspondence on the field as well for every campaign, not just for the APC, yes. for other parties. Times, for other, very interesting times. Thank you, AY. I see no correspondent there, AY Ozubakum.